Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to showing you guys how you can make a Roblox banner. I haven't made one of these in a while, but my last one did pretty good. So I'm here to do another one for you guys today. And this one is going to be a lot cooler than my other ones. I'm going to spend more time on this one. So that means it's going to be a little bit harder, but it shouldn't be a problem if you follow along. Without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, obviously you want to open up PhotoP, click on new project, type in 2560 by 423. Later we will change the 423 to 1440 so it will be 2560 by 1440 because YouTube only accepts 2560 by 1440. So keep that in mind and hit create. Now we're going to need a background so I'm going to have a link to everything I use in this tutorial down in the description below. This is the background we are going to be using. So it's just an arsenal map. Let me make it bigger. If you, uh, you can do this by hitting control, alt and T and just drag these boxes, hold shift while you do it like this. I'm just going to make the lines touch each side of it and then move it where you want it to be. So right here looks pretty good for me. But it looks like there's a little bit of white over here, so we need to extend this even more. Hit that check mark. Now we're ready to bring in the character. So again, there's going to be a link for that. Go ahead and bring it in. If you want to use this specific one, I did not make this. I just found it online, so I'm not really sure what it is. But I don't know how to get renders, so you're going to have to figure that out on your own. It's a whole separate process in this. So yeah, just keep that in mind as well. And we're just going to move him to the center. Kind of like this. Maybe a little bit smaller, like so. Hit that check mark now. Now we're going to get some text. We're going to click anywhere on our canvas and type in our name. So minus Cambit. For the font, we're going to go with Virgo 1. It's a pretty cool futuristic looking font. I like it a lot. And we're just going to resize this to about 150 up here. Move that to the center, but like right below his face. We're going to double click on that text layer now and do some edits to it. We're going to start out with the drop shadow. So click on the drop shadow little box right here to enable it. We're going to go with the 100% opacity. We're going to change the blend mode to normal. And we're going to change the color to a dark gray. Change the spread to 100. The angle to 90. Distance 13. And size 14. And that's pretty good right now. Now what we're going to do is add a gradient overlay. So click on the gradient overlay box. And we're just going to edit the color box right here. Well, actually, we are going to be changing the scale. But for now, we're just going to change these. So let's do like a dark gray. For this one, drag this one over. And we'll do white. Now turn the scale down to about 10 and we are done there now go to inner glow change the blend mode to color dodge and turn the color to white turn the opacity up to 100 and change the spread to 5 and the size to 7 and that is all we need to do for the text at the moment there's actually one more thing we can do double click on your text or just select it go up to warp choose arc lower change the bend to about i'd say 11 is a good amount there you go so now you can see the effect i'm going with and i might move my guy a little to the left so the text is centered on him okay so yeah it's looking pretty good so far now we're going to add a color balance layer this is going to change all the colors so go down here to your adjustment layer and go to color balance Change red to negative 100, green to negative 100, and keep blue at zero. Now we're going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer, which is going to make it look pretty trippy. So go ahead and add that. And it's going to be 126 hue. And it's going to be zero saturation and zero lightness. 
Also move the color balance on top of the hue and saturation. That actually does make a difference surprisingly. So definitely keep that in mind as well because that could change what the picture looks like completely. And the last adjustment layer we're going to add is a exposure adjustment layer. So go here to exposure. And for this, we're going to do 800 or actually 0.800. zero and then everything else the same so it brightens the picture up quite a bit which is nice and now what we're going to do is click on our background layer go ahead and delete this background layer because we don't need that just click on this picture background layer go up to filter blur and it's up to you which blur you want to do i'm just going to do a radio blur and i'm going to change it to the zoom because I think it has a nice look to it. The X axis is 0.50 and the Y is 0.81. So now we are done there. So now that we added these exposures, hue and saturation, all that, it kind of made the text lose some of its features. So go back in your text, go to gradient overlay, and we're gonna make this box right here a little bit darker. Like that. So you can see the difference already. It looks a lot better. So now what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate our text layer, move the copy down below this one, click control alt T to resize it and just scale it up. So it's bigger than the text in front of it like that. Turn the opacity down here to about 42%. Now go up to filter blur. Gaussian blur and we're going to blur out this background text to give it a cool like smoky effect. It just depends on how much um, the radius is. So let's go to about here 13 and now we can just leave it or you can adjust it by moving it down a little bit. I think it looks pretty good as it was so I'm going to leave it. So there you go. You got a cool little effect going on there. Now we're going to bring in a light behind him. So there's going to be a link for it. It's going to be a sun light PNG. And since it's below all these layers, it's going to be blue, which works out in our favor. We can just resize it. Oh crap. I accidentally um, have these both selected. So just get the sun, resize it, put it behind him like that. Okay. So now you can see the sun gives it a cool effect. And now what we can do is add a vignette as well. So add a new layer by clicking new layer, go to your brush tool, hold alt and like drag your mouse with the right click to resize it. And it's going to look like this. Here are the settings right here. Hardness 36, all that. I might turn the uh, opacity down though to about 60. We'll see what we're working with. Also make sure this top box is black. And just kind of brush the edges like that now click on that vignette layer and just turn the opacity down to whatever you want i'm going to do 19 percent so you can see with and without it it just gives it a nice effect to where this is your main focus not the outside edges now the last thing i think we're on the last thing um what we're going to do is we are going to add a light spot above him so again make a new layer drag it above all the other layers except for the adjustment layers go to your brush tool make it huge um i think that broke my uh oh no we're good make sure the top box is white i'm gonna zoom out quite a bit and i'm just gonna click one time yeah like that and there you go so let's zoom back in you can see it really brightened the picture made it look really cool so now we're ready to do is change it back to 2560 by 1440. So go up to image canvas size and type in 1440. It's going to look kind of strange because of how we have this all um, set up. But what I like to do is just add some black bars. So go to your rectangle tool, change the fill to black and just draw out these black bars where you think they need to be. And we will adjust them. So if we change the cam canvas size back to 2560 by 423, make sure it's not in the banner itself. 
which it is. So just hit control alt T to resize it and just move it down and it will snap below it. So now we're good to go. Change it back. And we can just hit control J to duplicate it and bring this one to the top. And there we go. We have our banner. So now when you file export as JPEG or PNG, PNG for the best quality, 100%. Now you have yourself a new banner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.